Well, let, let's just say hugs aren't working to stimulate your partner. There's actually a new perfume. Tell us about this, Dr. Lisa. This is called O Flirt. Oh, so, flirt. Oh, flirt. Oh, oh, flirt. And the reason that it's supposed to, it's, it's supposed to actually stimulate men well, or, or turn give men it a on. Shot. Give it, just try it out. But basically, it has a mixture of pumpkin and lavender, and that's supposed to increase testosterone levels for guys. And what does that well, do? You know what? It's pretty. This, this does. Better. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this does smell good, and we wanted to see if there was any truth to this. We actually sent the lovely Camille Anderson out on the streets to put this perfume to the test. Hey guys, I'm here to test this perfume out today, Oh Flirt. Research has shown that the ingredients in this perfume actually can turn a man on. I'm putting the Oh Flirt on my left wrist, and I'm also putting it on the left side of my neck. I'm putting one of the leading brands on my right wrist. I'm wondering if you would do me the favor of smelling both of my wrists. Yeah. Telling me which one turned you on. Oh, this was a really beautiful, very sensual. It makes my mind go in circles. But where does it go? <laughs> you can go into the bedroom, you never know. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and it's also on my neck right here. Oh, wow. All right, okay. That's just... Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Can I have my wrist back? What's your name? Enrique. That's pretty good. Yes. I really like that one. So did this scent turn you on at all? Well, I would say maybe yes. So can I have your number then? Maybe. <laughs> well, the, uh, the study was not, I guess, <clears throat> a great formal one, but three nothing. Not bad. Not bad. And Dr. Lisa's right, pumpkin and lavender mm -hmm. uh, in one study increased penile blood flow by 40% compared to two other scents. Mm -hmm. Donut and black licorice. That's a close second, huh? Donut and cola was in last. Wow. Donut I mean, and cola. Doesn't that get your hormones going? <laughs> so let's talk about the difference, though, briefly between perfumes or something that you can actually smell. Pumpkin is something you can smell. But, you know, today's show is about hormones, and we've talked about pheromones before. You can't mm -hmm. smell pheromones. They're odorless. These are chemical signals that are released by one sex. They are... Is it smell? Yeah. I don't even know what the word is. You yeah. sense it. Yeah, you sense it. And men, for instance, if a woman's ovulating, you might feel more attracted to her. Right. Because and it's, it's pheromones. pheromones. So you can't smell it, but it's something. And I think that's the whole chemistry thing. But as far as perfumes, you know, like different scents are going to smell different on different individuals. Like this is going to smell different on me than it does on you or you. And so yeah, you might I think put it on. I might go. I'm hungry. So who's? <laughs> well, let's move on.